Hey, what's up students? My name is Seth Perler and uh, I am here today to help make your life easier. What I'm going to show you today has to do with the Gmail account in Google. And if you have a Gmail account, you can do this. Otherwise, you can do it on some other program that's similar. You can probably find a, a workaround. But the idea of what I'm going to teach you today is going to make your life simpler, easier, less stressful. Therefore, you have more fun, more freedom, and will help you not only now with school and life, but also to have a better future because it'll give you some tips for how to organize some stuff. Now, before I get started, the first thing I want to say is as I show you this stuff, students, a lot of you, um, if you struggle with this thing called executive function, which is what I struggle with and what all the students I work with struggle with, if you struggle to get things done, you have a lot of missing work, late work, zeros, incompletes, you're always trying to get caught up and, and you're just in that cycle. Um, if that's the case, then you're, as I show you this stuff, you're going to be resistant, meaning I'm going to say something, you're going to be like, oh, Seth, I don't need that. Oh, I can keep it in my head. Oh, you know, that would work for other people, but it wouldn't work for me. I want you to just for the duration of this video, have an open mind and whatever I teach that you like, use it and whatever you don't like, don't use it or whatever you like, use it, but adapt it to you. Second thing is, is I talk about a thing called Franken study. Franken study is this idea that sometimes your parents, your teachers, your coaches, your tutors, your friends, schools, they'll tell you, this is the way to do it. This is the way to do three ring binders or folders or planners or whatever. Look, you may need folders or binders or something to manage papers. You may need some sort of a planner system, but the way you do it, when people are like, this is the best way research shows, blah, blah, blah. Look, research may show that, but that may not be for your brain. So always go back to Franken study, which means to customize, tailor, personalize your systems to you. You can go see mom, see dad. I don't need to do it this way. I need to do it. My you do need to do it though, but you need a reliable way, a reliable way. So that's the acid test. Is your way reliable and customize it to you? You know your preferences and your needs. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. What you're going to need is a uh, Gmail account, and I'm going to show you a couple things there. You may want to pause the video several times as I teach this today. Basically, here's a, a Gmail account. And in this Gmail account, I just have the black theme on. So if it looks different from yours, that's why. And what I want you to do is go over here and there are some buttons over to the right. There's the letter B, which is your name, your account. This nine dots will show you all of the different um, things that you can access in Google, your calendar, your YouTube, your Gmail and everything. Then you have the calendar here, something called Google Keep, something called Google Task and your contacts. What I want you to do is click on Google tasks. And this is a task list. I'm going to show you how to do this task list right here. So again, you click on the blue dot Google task, it will open it up right there in your Gmail. I don't like it open in my Gmail, because when I'm working in email, I don't want to see all that stuff. So what I do is I go to a calendar. Here's a calendar that I have set up for you. I'm going to run through a lot of tips here. So get ready to uh, hit pause if you want to implement these. The first thing I do is I often will help people set up these different categories of calendars for yourself. One for school, family, fun. For me, I do guitar. So you can do your hobbies, important things that would be like appointments. Then I don't usually use these reminders uh, here. And then wellness, that could be um, fitness, workouts, sports, whatever. So anyhow, these are the general categories I usually set people up with. And I usually will make the school one be red because it signals to the eye that, um, that it's important. So red is an alert color. And I want that for things that are not done. And then what we can do is we can close this here, and we can make it look nice and big. And then what I want to do is I want to go over to the task list over to the right. And when I open up this task list, it's going to show me some tasks, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Before I do that, let's look at the things that I put on the calendar for today. So today is the 21st. But let's say oops, let me click on the today button because I lost it. Let's say that on the 22nd, there's an LA paper due. And the 24th, there's a math exam. And here on the 19th, there is something for social studies due. Let's start with the social studies. Notice that this is green. That is because if you right click, this was the default color, but let's say that I turned it in. When it's done, it's not done. I always say when it's done, it's not done. When it's turned in, it's done. So a lot of my students have a lot of, of missing work. A lot of my students, they've done their work and they forgot to turn it in and got a zero on it. And sometimes they got, even got it done on time and get a zero or 50% off because it was turned in late. So we don't wanna do that. So basically you right click on it and you can change it to green. And that tells me that I turned it in or you can go into edit and you can change the color here uh, in order to show the different colors. So I like that that's green because I don't have to worry about it. However, 
whatever. I have an LA paper due tomorrow and um, that is red and it says that there's a note next to it. So I always put the thing short. I don't write language arts. I don't write English. I don't write, you know, Miss Smith's class. I write just LA or M for math or SCI for science, or SS for social studies, like I did here, or BIO for biology, whatever. I always use shorthand, but we want to see what it is first. LA, math, social studies. I want my eye to notice that first. I always use all caps too, so that my eye can have an easier time seeing it. Now it says that there's a note. So if I edit it, you can see that here's where the descriptions go and that's where notes go. Here's where you can add the location of a Zoom room and stuff like that. Now this one says math exam note. And let's say I put a note down here. So oftentimes in the notes, I'll show you something similar in a second, but here you can add in the link to your class. You can add in the link to the PDF or the study guide or whatever. So if I have note here, that means that I have notes down here and you can add tons of notes down there. Even for a research paper, you can add notes down there. But now what I'm gonna do, so that here we have three items. This one's done, these two are not done. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up task lists. Now, before I go into why this is important, let me say this. When I teach students planning, and this is gonna drive some of you nuts. And the reason it's gonna drive some of you nuts is because you're smart and you know that you want to do the least amount of work possible for the greatest effect. That's smart, right? Usually it is. But when we cut corners, what's called cutting corners, it becomes bad and not the smartest thing. So on guitar, if I want to do, there's something called economy picking. If I want to pick really fast on a song and make my guitar just sing and I want to pick really fast, I want to move as little as possible. I want to use as little effort as possible on guitar. If I am, you know, swimming or running or doing a sport, I want to use as little as effort as possible to win the game or to, to do the move I'm trying to do. For example, on swimming, you know, maybe I want to put my hand in this way to grab the water. I don't need to get, I don't mean to confuse you here. The point is, is the fact that you want to take shortcuts and cut corners is smart, but in some cases it's not. And here's what I'm getting to. When I'm teaching students how to use calendars, I teach them to use, I don't care if it's paper or digital. I'm showing you on Google Calendar right now. I love Google Calendar, but you can, I use a mix of paper and, um, and digital. But whatever you use, it is important to have a large monthly planner that tracks all of your work and it's important to do what's called a daily plan, meaning making a plan every day. And you're like, yeah, but Seth, I can just click on the portal and it's all there. It's all listed. All my missing assignments are in one place, blah, blah, blah. Listen, if you want to have a future life where you really are in practice of doing things to help accomplish your goals, you will be able to do anything, any goal you have in life, if you can plan well. If you can't plan well, you're going to limit yourself. You're going to have less freedom, less fun, more stress when you get older. Okay. I want you to have more freedom, more fun, and less stress when you get older. So practicing this daily planning now is important. So now let me get back to it. So here's the gist. Basically, if you see here today uh, in this thing, so I'm going to close it now. Now, let's say we have our calendar here. I want, I keep this open on my own calendar. This is called today. And this shows everything, let's say I have to do today. And let's say this one is fun. Maybe for fun, I wanna research an, a guitar amplifier. I am learning to kite surf. So maybe I'm researching harnesses. Okay, maybe I have one called fun, but I also have one called today. Now notice this, M, urgent. That means math, urgent, LA, urgent. That means uh, language arts, urgent. And then maybe I have some other things. So first, let me show you how to use this real quick. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a task. Let's say that we have a new task and let's say that that task is to send a check uh, let's say it's to send a check to some organization for some reason. Let's say that you have to, oops, that did not work out well. So um, I'm going to add the task, send check to whatever, blah, 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 blah. So that's how you add a task. Now, let's say that the most urgent thing in my life today, the most important thing in my life today is to get that LA paper turned in then I have to study math. Then let's say I have to deal with my inbox. I know there's some important emails in there. Then um, I might wanna take a break and clean my room and move a little bit. That check, maybe I need to send that check, but maybe I don't need to send it until tomorrow or the next day, but it's gotta get in at some point. 
Um, maybe checking my grade should be done today, but doesn't have to be done today. Maybe my history project could be done today, whatever. Uh, in that bio lab, let's say that I got to get that bio lab done. So here are the things. Now, you, the nice thing about this, so you want to plan your day every day. Listen, you want to plan your day every day. I don't care if you use a note card. I don't care if you use this Google Tasks, Google Keep. I don't care if you use Trello or, or Asana or some other task management program. I don't care if you use My Daily Sheets or Notepad, but every day you or sticky notes, you should plan your day. Think about what do I have to do tonight? What's everything I have to do tonight? And here's the problem. Students that I work with who struggle with executive function will say, I don't have anything tonight. And what they really mean is I cannot recall right at this moment that I have any homework right now. And they're not thinking about, well, do I have any long-term things I'm supposed to be working on? I can put those off. Do I have any responsibilities I should work on? I can put that off. Do I have Do I have to check my inbox or my portals or things like that? I can put that. So they're just thinking about like these urgent things. That is not a good thing for the brain because it gets you into a lot of last minute stuff. And then you're always doing your projects last minute and there's a lot of stress and lower quality associated with that. So anyhow, you want to plan your day, figure out what you got to do each day, pick which order is important. Now that it's an order, I know all I got to do is look at everything. So let's say I finished my math, boom, done. Finished my LA, boom, done. I dealt with my inbox, boom, done. So those completed tasks, it will record for me if I want. I don't like that. So what I do when they're done, I delete it. I don't ever want to think about it again, personally. Now here I leave it. Social studies is due. So here's the social studies do your history project. Let's say it was due last week and it's done. I would leave it here, but I would delete it from here personally. You can do whatever you want but I'm just showing you how, how I like to do it. Um, so anyhow, now let's look at this bio. Notice there are details here. Why? Because you can click next to it and you can edit it. So in the bio lab here, I can even put a PDF, like here's a link, here's the day, here's the things we need to do, email my group to schedule the time, yada, yada, yada. So it's pretty cool that you can schedule these subtasks inside of that too. So, um, and then the last thing I want to say is that you, you, when you open this up originally, you're going to notice that your calendar looks like this usually, and that is not the best way for my eye to see the calendar. So I tell people what we want to do is see the month view. The people that I work with, um, with executive function stuff, the, the month view is usually the best view because you can see month by month everything. And people who I work with don't see what's coming up. They're only interested in what's urgent. Like I said before, that's what my brain works like. But we have to work with the brain and tell the brain, look, I'm the boss, not you brain. We're going to do things the right way. We're not going to be resistant to everything. We're going to try to get things done. Anyhow, my name is Seth Perler. Thank you so much for listening. If you like what I'm doing, Go ahead to SethPerlo.com. You can subscribe, give it a thumbs up on YouTube, leave your comment. What do you think of this? Do you have any ideas for that sort of a thing that make life easier, less stressful, more fun, more free for how you manage your projects? I mean, do you use sticky notes or anything creative? How do you, what ideas do you have for people about how to manage this stuff that you don't want to forget and get zeros on all the time? What ideas do you have for us? Anyhow. Be well, be safe, have an amazing day, have some peace of mind, peace in your heart, and some joy today. Take care.